For those of you who don't know, Space Ghost is an intergalactic police officer or a space cop navigating through the cosmos in his tricked out spaceship, the Phantom Cruiser, battling evil doers, along with his teenage sidekicks, Jan and Jace, and their space monkey, Blip. The simplicity of their 10 minute adventures, give or take, is what makes the retro series so much fun. Without much time for story, the series wastes no time getting straight to the action. Among the early Hanna-Barbera cartoon superheroes such as Herculoids, Mitor, and Birdman, Space Ghost is a definite standout. Mad About Superheroes presents Retro Cartoon Review. Created by Hanna-Barbera Productions, who later went on to produce Super Friends, and designed by legendary artist Alex Toth for CBS, Space Ghost debuted in 1966, where it shared time with an unrelated segment, Dino Boy in the Lost Valley. Space Ghost was voiced by Gary Owens, along with Tim Matheson as the voice of Jace, Jenny Taylor as the voice of Jan, and Don Messick as the voice of Blip. Space Ghost and his sidekicks defend the galaxy from various supervillains, consisting of the mighty Motar, personal favorite Zorak, the villainous Black Widow, also known as Spider-Woman, the maniacal Metallus, the nefarious Brack, and the cunning Creature King. Over the decades since his first appearance, Space Ghost has inspired a wide variety of media, including action figures and, more importantly, comic books. Space Ghost has also had a huge influence on a comic book writer-artist Steve Root of Nexus fame, who eloquently illustrated a Space Ghost one-shot comic for Kamiko in 1987 a wonderfully loving homage to its 60s cartoon counterpart. The story features Space Ghost, Jan, Jace, and Blip going up against Space Ghost's entire rogues gallery. If you're a comic book enthusiast and a fan of Space Ghost, but don't own a copy, I highly recommend this one. It's awesome. The aforementioned Steve Root comic, Nexus, almost received animated treatment itself, and from this concept clip, you can definitely see the Space Ghost influence. There's also a great DC comic, Space Ghost Limited series, that introduces a backstory and origin for the character, which features incredibly photorealistic painted covers by artist extraordinaire Alex Ross, with interior art excellently illustrated by Ariel Avaletti and a story masterfully crafted by Joe Kelly. Check it out if you haven't already. Okay, Blip, this is where the twins disappeared. We'd better go on Invisipower just in case. Now, let's see if we can find who's got the twins. Though Space Ghost aired on television before I was born, I was introduced to the character while tuning into the animated television show Space Stars in the early 80s. The new Space Ghost adventures introduced a new assortment of villains, including an evil version of Space Ghost called Space Spectre, who came from an alternate universe. In the early 90s, Cartoon Network was primarily airing Hanna-Barbera reruns, and I was able to watch the original Space Ghost series from the 60s. Though I had fond memories of Space Stars, I quickly realized it paled in comparison to the original series. The original episode's animation is stunningly vibrant and are much more action-packed than the Space Stars episodes. Standards and practices ended the original Space Ghost series in the 60s after two highly rated seasons due to what they perceived to be too violent for children. Standards and practices also enforced their will on the 80s Space Stars series, which is why Space Ghost adventures weren't as action-packed as its original counterpart. Much to my delight, the complete original Space Ghost series was released on DVD, complete with Dino Boy segments, so I can watch to my heart's content. Space Ghost lied dormant, absent from the small screen for years. That is until Space Ghost Coast to Coast, a hilarious spoof of late night talk shows. Coast to Coast began broadcasting in the mid 90s on Cartoon Network. Celebrities interviewed by Space Ghost included Adam West, Weird Al Yankovic, and Hulk Hogan, among many, many others. Though the series was brilliantly funny and spun off an equally funny series, The Brack Show. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, ha, 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 buddy. And no matter how you say it, as long as you say it, but don't spray it. Yeah, buddy. 
I eagerly await for Space Ghost's return to his former animated glory days. A new action-packed adventure series, possibly more in line with his DC Comics interpretation. Fans were teased with the notion when Space Ghost made a guest appearance on Batman Brave and the Bold, but a spin-off series was never really in the cards. But in an era of reboots and reimaginings and big screen adaptations, why not Space Ghost? If ever there was a superhero cartoon series that deserves a revival, it's most definitely Space Ghost! Dan, Jace. Space Ghost! Shh, quiet. I'm unlocking your door. When I divert the guards, head for your space coop. Got it? Got it, Space Ghost. Right. Attention, this is Space Ghost. Surrender your arms and release your prisoners. No, it's Space Ghost. Kill him! Kill him! I've got another idea. How about a shot of stun ray? Nice going, Blip. You stay here, Jen. I'll give Space Ghost a hand. Blip already is. Look! Go get him, Blip! Hey, he jammed their helmets over their eyes. I've got a clean-up job for you. Here, catch! Creeps like you should be in a cage. I don't want you to feel left out. We've got them covered, Space Ghost. Good. Hold them while I release their prisoners. One shipload of prisoners that'll be glad to get back home. And that should about wrap up the slavery ring. What about the lizard creeps? They're safe enough. Those cages ought to hold them until the Galactic Patrol picks them up. Hey, where's Blip? <laughs> <laughs> we missed one. But it looks like Blip didn't. <laughs> well, you gotta admit, Space Ghost, going off course sure broke up the lizard slavers. Right. And as a reward, you can't use your space coop for a week instead of a month. What? Hey! I told you! I told you, I told you. Oh, boy, sisters. I hope you've enjoyed this retro cartoon review of Space Ghost. Thanks for letting your geek flag fly with Mad About Superheroes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.